Hello guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. We hit 5,000 subscribers and that is crazy. So thank you if you're subscribed or if you watch my videos, support me at all. Thank you. Today we're doing a Black Friday haul. I hit some really good sales and got some good stuff that I'm going to show you guys. I didn't get like a ton because I was trying to like kind of budget myself because if you don't know, I do nails and I spent like a thousand dollars on some nail stuff. So my bank account was kind of hurting. So I budgeted myself of what I bought clothing wise, but I did need some stuff. So let's start with American Eagle. Um, I bought two things from here and I love that they gave the reusable bags this year like they did last year. I really love that. So the first thing I got is literally the shirt I have on. These shirts were 40% off. I think the entire store was, but it's just kind of a loose flowy shirt. I love how the sleeves fit. Super, super soft. And I got the same thing, but in black. They just have like a slight v-neck to them. I, I don't have boobs, so I can't do like the deep v-neck. It just doesn't work for me. Um, there's nothing there, so. Um, these fit me pretty good. That was what I got from American Eagle. Moving on to Airy. This is a really cute bag too. I love the reusable ones. So I got two pairs of leggings. I'm wearing one of them right now. I just got the plain offline black leggings. I got a size medium. All the dressing rooms are closed. I mean, that's probably like the best decision, but I didn't know if I'd be like a small or medium. I got a medium and it fits pretty good. So um, they're just literally high-waisted plain black leggings. They are very comfortable and not see-through at all. You literally cannot see my booty. I cannot stand that. It is so hard to find leggings that are not see-through. I don't want to shine my booty to people when I bend over. But these do not do that. These were like 12 bucks each, which they were 40% off and they were originally like 16, which still is not very bad, I don't think. But yeah, $12 each. They are the perfect length on me and they have regular rise and high rise. I got the high rise. I just prefer that. But yeah, these feel amazing. They feel good quality. And then I got this sweater. I thought the color was really cute. I don't really have anything this color and it's pretty thick too and soft. Um, I think with the 40% off, this ended up being $36. So yeah, it was original. It was originally $59.95. That's a little pricey, but I thought for like a good quality thick sweater, $36 is not too bad. So yeah, I think it's really cute. Um, it's a little bit oversized. I got an extra small in this. Everything is just like, I don't mind some oversized stuff, but it's just like this year that seems like everything is so oversized it swallows me whole. But this one shouldn't be too bad. I did get an extra small though in case. So yeah, that was everything from Airy. Now to Old Navy. This bag is literally like full of fuzzy socks. So they had some cute fuzzy Christmas socks for a dollar each. And I wear these around my house every day. So I got some, all kinds of different Christmas socks. And I got these snakeskin shoes, which I've kind of been wanting a pair. I have not bought shoes since like ninth grade. It's been like seven years. My converses are worn the crap out, but I can never find shoes I like. But these were actually really comfortable and fit me pretty well. And they were on clearance for freaking $12. I only spent the $20 at Old Navy between these socks and that pair of shoes, which I thought was pretty freaking good. And one more place. This was Belk. I don't really shop at Belk much. They just, I don't know, their style now is like, they don't have a ton of stuff that I like, clothing wise. But I did find this cute pair of shoes that I've been looking for, but I don't know if I'm gonna keep them because yesterday when I went to wear them, they were kind of so uncomfortable that I, I don't think I would have been able to stand them all day. Maybe they just need to be broken in though, that's what I think. But they are Steve Madden shoes and they are cheetah print with thick soles and I think they are so cute. Like a lot of the cheetah print shoes I've seen just have like an ugly color of cheetah print or like a weird looking cheetah print. But I thought these were so cute and I love them so much. They were half off too. So they're originally 60. I got them for $30, which I don't think is too bad for like a good pair of shoes. But it's just like right here comes up 
right to your ankle and it's like so stiff right now I guess because they're new that it just like rubs also rubs a little bit right here but I, I look weird if I wear like a tall pair of socks with them you know so I like these and I don't want to take them back but I also like I know I'm not gonna wear them if they're uncomfortable but I also might need to just break them in so I don't know so that was all I got clothing wise I do nails the majority of my money for Black Friday went to that I spent a thousand dollars on some nail stuff but you know I got everything that I feel like I'm gonna need for the year while it was on sale that's why I just didn't spend a whole lot this Black Friday on myself because I didn't want to completely drain my accounts so yeah I did pretty good this year I got a few things that I really wanted but stayed within under like a $200 budget. I think I spent like 150, something like that. So not bad, I don't think. And I'm really happy with everything I got. Let me know what you got for Black Friday because I'm very interested in like places are still having sales. So I might find something else I want, I don't know. But if you guys enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe down below and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.